Hi, right, beautiful people. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. I know you guys want to see a little bit more of how I paint and mix the colors. So here we go. Let's reveal a little bit more. Yeah. Let's do this. Mm. Let's do it. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Let's do this. So I've been wanting to do a little, a little something. We'll see. So here we go. Let's put this canvas right here because people have been telling me, do you take too long to put the canvas there? I don't know what take too long means to you guys. I'm able to make a painting in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. <laughs> so I don't know what too long means. Maybe it's too long for uh, real time on, I don't know social media whatever here we go let's do this all right Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Something like that. Oh, I wish the painting was done. I just wish the painting was done right there. Mucho bueno. Here we go now. I'm going to get some. Some flesh tone that doesn't look like flesh tone. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's where it's at, you know? Because what the hell is flesh tone anyways? You know, I, I, always, I always get a little bit like, what, what, what do you mean, what, what's flesh tone? When artists are like, flesh tone, I'm like, what, what, what the hell is flesh tone even? What the hell does that even mean? I don't get it. I'm always confused by this whole flesh tone thing. That's why my fingers look blue and I don't know, all kinds of awesome colors. Because I'm always confused about this flesh tone thing. Yeah. Sweet little angel. Look at that. Yeah. Mucho muy bueno. Muchas gracias. So froze. Thank you so much. Aprecio eso. The whole point of this thing, guys, these are, these are, some people are like, I love your sketches. They're not sketches. They're my paintings. <laughs> this is how I paint. I point, I paint like, like if I'm sketching, but I'm not really sketching. I'm painting. Uh, the, the whole point of this is uh, to find out the looseness. You know, there's a looseness happening in your paintings, but you have to figure it out. If, if you don't, if you don't find it, you get seduced out of it i mean i didn't like the word seduced lately like, you get you get seduced out of it you get you get you, you start thinking that there's like something else happening when in reality 
There's nothing really, anything happening. Look at that. Oh la la. Muy bueno. Man, I love this. My Mexican heart says, Muy bueno, muchacho, muy bueno. I may be the world's greatest living artist, guys, and the world just doesn't know it yet. It's just a matter of finding out, right? I guess we're going to have to find that out. I told you not to be bothering me when I'm painting. Let me call my studio. I promise you, I don't owe you money. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, muy bueno. Look at that. That's how it's done. Family. Instagram family. That's how it's done. And elsewhere. 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 Now I'm gonna I'm gonna come out with some awesome reds right here. Because the red is is muy bueno too. But see the whole point? Is to get enough paint because if you're not getting enough paint, I know a lot of people are like, Man, I try paint loose, but I can't. Well, first, you're not probably not practicing enough, okay? Because it, it, it takes tremendous amount of practice. <laughs> I love that word, tremendous amount of practice. Uh, to not to learn how to paint loose, to accept painting loose, okay? I went deep right there. You need to accept painting loose. A lot of people can paint loose, but they don't accept it. Their minds fight them. They're always fighting. They're always fighting their minds. They're like, I know, but I have to fix this and I have to fix that. And, and the color's off here. And dude, that, 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 you got a different problem. You have a, another problem. The problem is that you're not accepting painting. I know, because <laughs> trust me, I know. The whole point of painting loose is to accept your flaws. Someone told me the other day, well, they, 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 they tell me, they tell me, they tell me often. They're like, you're not even a good painter. I'm going to shut your face. You don't even know what you're talking about. I'm a great painter. <laughs> How's it going, Jose Luis? I get people that get butt hurt with me. They're like, you're not even a good painter, man. I'm like, shh, quiet. I already tell myself that. I don't need you to tell me that. All I gotta do is just show up. I just gotta show up. I gotta show up. All I gotta do is just show up. Like uh, Dory says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That's all you gotta do. Most of you don't even know that that's like what all you gotta do. All you gotta do is just keep swimming. And then the magic will follow you. Most people, most people don't understand that you have to swim a lot before the magic starts following you. We want the magic to follow us right away, but you have to swim a lot. You swim a lot. You have to just keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming. At some point, your body's like, dude, I know what to do. And, and, and you, you're creating so much momentum that your, your, your awesomeness is like, dude, I totally know what to do now. All you gotta do is just keep swimming. But see, most people don't want to just keep swimming. Most people want to get it down right away. They're like, I want to get it down right away. You can't get it down right away. Nobody gets it right the first time. What's wrong with you? Are you loco? Nobody gets it done the first time. You gotta get it wrong a few times. A few thousand times. <laughs> just a few thousand times. There you go. That's my little angel. Look at him. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's him, her, they, them. No idea. It's a human or spiritual. I don't know. Look at that. I love that, man. I think I'm onto something. I keep operating like this. Man, I'm, I'm onto something. I think I am onto something. I've definitely already put my 10,000 hours. I think I'm onto something. Who knows 
as Monet said. Who knows? Uh, I hope I hope all of this. Hey, thank you, Kyle. I hope all of this uh, effort. Uh, it's worth something, as the great Claude Monet said. I hope so too, because I think I think I'm onto something. I think I'm doing some very interesting ish here. Anyways, whatever. While that happens, I'm gonna go sell this bad boy. This bad boy is going on a 99 cent auction on eBay. Adios, amigo. Goodbye. May the gods be with you. <laughs> All right, guys. I will take care of uh, another stuff here. Some other some other paintings. And uh, if you guys want a shot at winning this auction, uh, click on my link on my profile. My profile, there's a link. Click on it. Be like, oh, I want a shot at winning this painting at auction. Because the auction starts at 99 cents and there is no reserve. Meaning you might win it at $2. I don't know. I Sometimes I get people bidding crazy and sometimes I get people like no one bids. I can't tell, right? Because it's an auction. So I don't know. Sometimes some, people call me and they're like, dude, I want this painting for like 30 bucks. I'm like, really? Dude, it's like a $2,000 painting. You want it for 30 bucks? Lucky you. No hard feelings. That's what the whole point is about. The whole point of the auction is to dude, just put it there. You know? Let him win it. Let them win the auction. It sounds like let him eat cake. Man, speaking of cake, this looks like icing. Look at that. Fuck, I'm getting good. I'm getting too good for myself. <laughs> too good for myself. <laughs> Look at that blue. It's a mixture of phthalo blue and viridian. Fuck, I'm good. <clears throat> can, can, you use, can you drop the F-bomb in front of an angel? I guess you can. Look at that. Look at that brushwork. This is masterful brushwork. Masterful. <laughs> Speaking of masterful, here, let me introduce you to my little friend. Bam! Advertising 101. Jose Trujillo Art.com. Bam! <laughs> there you guys have it. Look at this palette. It's a serious palette. Tempered glass. Tempered glass, baby. It's a serious palette right here. This is muy macho palette. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some more coffee at this point. <laughs> look, at, look at those wings. I'm like a I'm like a I'm like a crazy breed between I don't know like it's expressionism, it's fauvism, it's all kinds of isms, all kinds of ish isms and whatnot. But I I really like it. I really like it. See, as, as you're growing as an artist, you're, you're soaking in stuff. Like, like I can, I, I, I don't know. Some artists are like, oh my God, I'm so original. Dude, you're soaking every time you're in front of anything. If you're an artist, you're a sponge. You're soaking. You're like SpongeBob SquarePants. Maybe you're Patrick. I don't know. Maybe you're not SpongeBob. Maybe you're looking for the Krusty Krab, the secret formula. But you're soaking all the time. You know, you're soaking. Like, I could see Peter Max. Mm, soaking it. I can definitely see some brushwork by Mr. Claude Monet soaking it. You know? I can see some of the very serious portraits very washed out by Mr. Manet. Soaking it and Velasquez. I soak it. Every time I go to a museum, I'm soaking it in. I'm not trying to be Velasquez. I'm not trying to be Monet. I'm not trying to be Peter Max. I'm not trying to be... I'm trying to soak it in. Because I know they all had something cool. So I'm, I'm making my own... I'm mixing my own... Krusty Krab secret formula. That's what I'm doing. Look at that. Man, I'm good. Muy bueno. Look at that. Man. I bet you you've never met an artist more proud of his work than me. You know why? I keep telling you guys this in my other videos. Create a lot of activity. Mucho activity. And your confidence is going to skyrocket. Activity equals confidence. Boom. I leave you with that. All right, guys. Take care. Adios.